Welcome to Viper. Viper is the next generation high performance antivirus and anti-spyware program. Viper provides anti-spyware, antivirus, anti-rootkit and other technologies into one single solution. Viper provides powerful protection against today's highly complex threats. And it's backed by the expertise of Sunbelt Software's Malware Research Labs, one of the leading security organizations in the world today. Unlike other security products, Viper was completely designed from the ground up with the latest technology. And it doesn't slow your computer down and waste precious resources. And Viper is the first security product to feature innovative home site licensing. That means for one low price, you can use Viper on as many computers as you have in your household. Viper comes in two flavors, the regular Viper antivirus and the premium edition, which adds a desktop firewall, blocking of malicious websites, and other features. So, let's take a quick look at Viper. For this demonstration, we'll be using the Premium Edition. I'll make sure to highlight which features are not available in the basic Viper. Viper has been created to work as you do, with an easy, simple interface designed for both new and advanced users. The main overview screen gives you the status of Viper. On the left, there is a status of Viper's key components. On the upper right is what we call Viper's Active Space, which provides real-time live information from our research center. This dedicated area in Viper allows our researchers to give you immediate information of any major security issues on the Internet. On the lower right is a statistics section showing you how many times you've scanned with Viper and how many risks have been found and removed. Viper is designed to be as self-explanatory and straightforward as possible with sections for scanning, management, and tools. If you own Viper Premium, you'll see this additional section for the firewall. Let's take a look at the scanning section first. On the scan screen, you can choose a quick scan or a deep scan, which takes longer but is more thorough. The custom scan option lets you choose what areas you want to scan. Now, let's move to the manage section, which helps you manage certain parts of Viper, such as your scan history and items that have been quarantined. Always blocked and always allowed is where you can tell Viper to allow or block certain programs. Finally, schedule scan lets you choose when you want to run scans of your system. System tools is a collection of useful tools that can help improve your security. Use the secure file eraser to permanently remove files from your system. The history cleaner can clean out the history of where you've been on the internet for privacy purposes. PC Explorer has useful features to delve under the hood of your computer. Now let's take a look at active protection. We recommend you keep Active Protection enabled unless you're running another antivirus product. You can't run Viper's Active Protection when another antivirus product is running its own real-time protection. When you're editing the settings of any main feature, you can also edit other areas. In this case, let's take a look at the firewall. Again, this feature is only available in the Viper Premium Edition. Viper Premium's firewall is extremely powerful, providing comprehensive additional protection that's vital in today's threat environment. The firewall section has three key components, the firewall itself, web filtering, and process protection. By enabling the firewall, Viper will now monitor your internet connection for potentially unwanted traffic. I'll explain more about that in a minute. The intrusion detection system is an additional protection that is part of the firewall. It looks for certain types of malicious activities and is an optional additional layer of protection. If you have the bad website blocking enabled, Thousands of malicious websites will now be blocked from your computer. If Viper finds that a website you're browsing is malicious, it will not allow access to that page and will come up with a warning. You can also access additional features in the web filter settings. Blocking third-party advertisements, for example, will block many types of ads. Give it a try. You might find you'll enjoy browsing your favorite websites without so much clutter. Host intrusion prevention helps protect against a certain type of attack known as code injection. It's a bit more technical than we want to get into in this presentation. However, there are harmless programs that use code injection and you may need to train Viper as to what alerts you receive. Back to the firewall. When you first installed Viper, you were asked a question. Whether you wanted the firewall in simple, no pop-up mode, or learning mode. The simple mode is a basic level of protection, which stops someone from outside your PC from accessing your computer. The learning mode is a bit more advanced. It enables protection from both threats coming in as well as many types of outbound internet communication. This is known as a two-way firewall. If you enable learning mode, you'll get prompts asking your permission for programs to communicate outside of your computer. Many of these programs will be completely harmless and so you'll have to train the firewall as to what is acceptable or not. Over time, your firewall will become trained and won't need to ask your permission as much for many common tasks. You can always change from simple to learning by clicking reset to defaults in the firewall settings screen at any time. You can also rerun the setup wizard at any time by running the setup wizard from the help menu. 
And that concludes our brief introduction to Viper. We encourage you to explore the program and read the documentation. And don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching this presentation on Viper.